How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make dirty camouflage. This works really well on a lot of hard surface robots, which is how I came up with it, just working on some ideas. There's a lot of cool things going on. We have some roughness, we got a little bit of bump, we have these really cool patterns and the dirt going off, so we're gonna do some layering. Before we get into that, I do wanna shout out that my abstract animation course is currently available. You can check that out in the description. A lot of cool things happening in there, along with a two hour seminar that's gonna go live on the 7th. That's gonna be a live stream. You can interact with me and all that stuff, as well as the beta of me and Syncretic 3D's Surface Imperfections pack. You can go on my Patreon now that is available for all three tiers on my Patreon. You can check out the beta. It's going to be an official product later, but you guys get to beta test it. Uh, with that being said, let's get on with the tutorial. Now, before we actually get into the node aspect of this, we need to get our colors first. So the best way to get really good camouflage colors rather than eyeballing it, you can actually go to color.adobe.com. You don't need an account, just a really cool color palette website. You can click explore and I'm just type in camo. We can click that in. And the, here you have a really cool assortment of camouflage colors, materials, all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick um, we're going to pick this assortment of colors. So I'm just going to leave that there for now and let's open up Blender and let's get going. So this works in EV and cycles. We're going to be using EV to preview this, but because we're doing a lot of stuff with roughness and bump, it's going to look really great in cycles as well. So let's hop on over to shading and I'm going to hit shift a and I'm going to add in a UV sphere. I'm just going to hit tab and subdivide him real quick. So we just get a nice model. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click new and we're gonna get a color ramp. So C-O-L right here in the search and plug the color ramp right here into the base color. And then now we're gonna get, now we're gonna get our Voronoi texture for the um, overall pattern. So V-O-R in the search and we'll get in our Voronoi pattern right here and we'll plug the and we'll plug the distance here into the color ramp. Now what you're gonna to wanna to have is the node wrangler add-on enabled. You'll go to your preferences, go to add-ons and type it node and you'll just click that check mark. This comes with Blender by default. You don't need to download it. I'm gonna hit Control T on the, on the Voronoi and we're gonna click Object here so that it spreads evenly across any model you place this on. Now, what I wanna do here is here on the color ramp, you can see how these are very smooth gradients between colors. We wanna actually make that a hard edge. So we're gonna to go to constant here on the color ramp and then now you can see we have a perfect like kind of 2D hard edge. Now. Here in the Voronoi texture, we're gonna go from 3D to 4D so we can get some random iterations here on the pattern. And then we're gonna go from F1 to smooth F1 to get us a smooth pattern. And here you go, we already have this really nice uh, pattern here, which can also work for the um, camouflage pattern here. When it comes to the smooth stuff, that's kind of the name of the game when it comes to these camouflage. So you can kind of have an endless amount of them. I'm a personal fan of the Mikowski pattern here. And if we play with this exponent, we can bring in these um, patterns here, almost like a cow. And we can bring the scale around, but it's really fine where it is. So now let's go ahead and start coloring this. So what you can do is pull up your um, color.adobe.com and just start picking out four, you know, four is kind of the max you wanna play with. For this one, I'm actually just going to use three. So you can hit the plus icon here and pick your colors. So I'm gonna click on the black one, go to hex. And the cool thing about this website is just click on the color. It's gonna copy a hex code and you'll paste it in the hex portion of this uh, node and then now you have some color. So let's go ahead and get the other um, three colors that I wanna work with for this material and paste them into our project. So here we have our material and then I'm gonna bring up my scale a little bit to kind of mess with this. So we have a bit of a kind of a weird material and you can play with the exponent if you don't like the pattern. Um, and use other things, but this is kind of the base of the pattern. But right now it's a little too globby. It doesn't really look like, you know, your average camouflage. We need more details in the shapes. The way we're gonna do that is here, right between the mapping and the texture coordinate, and that's called the vector line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Shift A and add in a noise texture. Plug that there and it's going to kind of destroy this. What we need to do is just use a little bit of this. It's kind of totally affecting it. That's gonna be with a mix RGB. Plug that there. And then to make it work, we need to take this object coordinate and plug it into color two. Now I can kind of explain what this is doing. When factor is at, at one, it's as if this isn't even working at all because it's just using this vector output. 
if we bring it over the way to here, it's like we had just pasted it in here and it's totally affecting it. So it allows us to just use a little bit of the noise texture. Now we have our camouflage. How cool is that? Now, this is pretty boring. Let's go ahead and start playing with the roughness on this. If you're gonna to wanna to put this on like a robot model or anything else, this is pretty boring. So what we're gonna do is get in a color ramp and plug it into the roughness and right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in a noise texture. The noise texture is the one of my favorite nodes when it comes to just adding little bits of detail into things. I'm gonna hit Control T, use the object coordinate here, plug the factor into the color ramp and then now we're having a little bit of fun here. I'm gonna bring this in here, this in here like this. I want them to be working together. Bring my detail up and my roughness up. And then here in the black portion, see how it's a little too glossy? That's not realistic for camouflage or you know, if we're using it for this particular kind of dirt look, we're gonna bring it up a little bit and now we have this happening and then we'll plug that noise texture into a bump node. So we'll plug the bump node into the normal and we'll plug this factor into the height. And here we go, we can just play with the strength, just bring it up a little bit, give us a little bit of detail. That's even a little bit too much. Now we have that. Again, it's looking rough, but it's not looking dirty. How do we make it look dirty? That's gonna be a really fun bit. So we're gonna add in a mix shader here, and then let's take this principled and hit Shift D, bring it down and plug it into the mix RGB, I mean the the mix shader. So right here is where we're gonna pick the color of our dirt. I want it to be a light kind of sandy color. So we're gonna bring it kind of over to here, keep it kind of bright. That looks pretty good for now, we can edit that later. So how do we make that look like dirt on top of all this fun stuff we just made? What we're gonna do is hit a color ramp, C-O-L, color ramp, add the color to the mix shader of the, the factor of the mix shader and I'm gonna get my favorite node when it comes to adding rust or dirt, and that's a musgrave texture. We're gonna plug that there, and let's go ahead and get the uh, vector of this mapping node, plug it onto the musgrave, and plug the height into the color ramp. So you can see it's gonna start working. Now you can see that on top of everything, so we're gonna bring the dimension to zero, detail up to 16, and now it's too dirty. It's covering up everything. So what you're gonna to wanna to do so what this is going to do here, if we click on the white and bring the slider down, it's almost like an opacity slider. So you bring it down until you, you know, the amount of dirt you want on your camouflage, and there we go. We now have dirt. And then what we can also do is get a bump node here. Uh, we can, here we go, we can, uh, so we can duplicate the bump node, plug it into the normal, then we can plug the uh, Musgrave into the height of that bump node, which is the dirt. So it kind of looks like there's some dirt sitting on top of all this fun stuff. And then we can bring that factor, kind of keep it where it's at. And now we have a really cool camouflage dirt shader that you can use on anything you want. It's really cool. I use it on quite a few helmets. It works a lot. And now you have this really cool camouflage. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something.